Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is a solo run of the Guardian Games training playlist. It is this week it's Proving Grounds. And I think I get about just under 260, 260,000. It's like 259 and change. Uh, so I thought I'd put it up and let you guys see how I'd done it and maybe give some tips or, you know, little things about, about the run that might help you guys get a decent enough score because obviously these runs will then transcend into the the competitive playlist over the weekend and that's really where the score will matter so all the weapons and mods and setup that i was i am using uh you can see in the video there i've got a hundred recovery which means i get my riff back faster and a hundred discipline which means i get my grenade back faster uh, i chose to do it on the warlock because i figured the grenades would be really good for like mass clearing ads but what we are also going to do is we're going to be utilizing the finisher so basically if you emote and finish uh any kind of yellow bar uh, basically a high a high value a high value yellow bar uh you get extra points for chaining basically the kill the 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 finisher and and uh, emote in front of them you chain those three medals together and it gives you a couple of sometimes it gives you a, quite a few thousand points more so the, the the setup for this is you've got 20 minutes to complete it before you start losing points now you do lose points but you still gain points for another five minutes at uh 50 the value of before so i'm i'm not really much of a speed runner i don't i don't enjoy that because i i feel like with speed running there's an element of you can die quickly <laughs> you can complete it quickly but you can also die quickly and i i, I don't like those odds so but in this you do kind of have to go fast so you'll see here you'll have seen me do it with that unstoppable you'll see me do it here with this colossus you can see he's just about finish you so i emoted and you'll see there I get Giant Slayer, Finishing Touch, and Insult to Injury. So that's three, and I've got 12,000. If I hadn't have finished them, I was probably going to get something like seven. So it's, it, for, for, for uh, the higher, higher end, it's it's an extra 5,000. So uh, another thing that I would say is, if you're trying to get a, a high score, and you're just going to get this Phalanx down because he's a yellow bar, so I will at least get extra extra points not quite as i mean you get 5700 but what i did notice uh real quick what i did notice is even though i'd done that with quite a few of the the yellow bars i i felt as if uh i never got the credit for them all in fact i actually killed uh i think it's in this run that i killed uh a few of the elite scions and got zero points I actually came up three lots of zero so as I've said, doing this quickly is is helpful, but uh, I, I I would still be careful. So another thing I would do is when when you're and you've see, you, you'll probably see me do it more so with the double tank room. What I do is there's a couple of times with yellow bars like those honored phalanx and honor honored uh, legionaries, where I'll get them down low, but I won't necessarily go and get them or just leave them. Uh, because they're already low as you can see there i got i never got the insult to injury there you really you've got to be careful with the 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 emote sometimes i, I say you've got to be careful with the emote maybe not but sometimes you uh you'll do it maybe a bit too quickly or as i think it is the game will not give you credit another thing you need to be careful of you see on the left hand side it says gold weapon empowerment when you get that up on your screen and you're using this setup, I think I might have went a little bit too early there as well. Oh no, it gave me the insult to injury, which kind of weird because I've done the same thing for the last guy and never got it. Uh, when you get that uh, gold level, because I've already got a score, so I'm gold level, which means we uh, weapon kills and, and ability kills will now increase the damage or regen, regen rate of those. If you get... Uh, gold level uh, weapon damage. You will want. I would have one hit that champion. That's why I bodied him. So if you if you really are going for that kind of high score, be very mindful. It might even be worthwhile not using a void weapon. I did because I didn't figure I would have that empowerment 
all the time at the boss and, and I knew that I, w I would need to do big damage to the boss, kind of burst kill him almost. So, the time that I got there, I like to get out of that first area uh, in about four minutes with anything between, for a decent score, anything between uh, 74 and 83 and then you get, for getting the, the multi-kill there, you get a couple of thousand more points. But this, for me, this is where you, I mean, we've got 80 odd thousand. This is where you're going to, this is where a run could go wrong. Is in this room. And I'm going to try and make it as easy as possible. Might not seem that way, but trust me, this that this makes it really simple. It's gonna, we're going to be in here for about five minutes. And I'll explain what I'm doing. When I first come in, there's going to be four ads and two, no, six ads, two four cabal and two snipers i'm gonna kill one of them i actually got two i'm gonna charge my grenade i'm gonna throw my grenade at one door and i'm gonna throw my super at the other one and then i'm gonna make it back up top right you see there i'm, I'm scoring points getting kills but I'm, it's more it's not about scoring massive points it's more about uh cleaning cleaning the clearing the area so, we'll take out the two snipers. I actually left that sniper because I was kind of hopeful I'd be able to finish him. Now, in this room, the kind of heavy ads are going to be, you're going to have, they're not champions, but they're those guys that I'm shooting now, this uh, Val Cladior, however you pronounce that. He's an arc shielded guy. We have no arc, but uh, our void will eat, eat through his shield. So, I've got him finishable. I'm going to let him get his shield back so I don't accidentally kill him. Because he is going to be finished for high scores. Now I'm going to throw it. You've got three of these uh, interceptors. Now, I actually took out one of them. Uh, I might have took two of them, actually. I thought I only took one. They, they come from the blast doors. Uh, so I'm just looking here to see what's going on at the back. There's still a couple of red bars. And what I'm doing is... I'm clearing the area so that I can go and get some finishes, right? So with this guy, he is like pounding where I am now. So there's dogs coming out every time when you clear certain amount, certain amount of ads, you'll get a wave of dogs, three from each side, and then, then we've got the champion. So what I decided to do was I'm gonna get rid of this guy right in front. He's like a mini champion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break the barrier on the Colossus. And I'm going to go down here, get right in at the edge. Then then I do a quick emote. And then I jump up and finish him. Now, I have... I got the insult to injury. Uh, which was cool. Uh, I've also got... And you'll have seen it when you've seen my, my setup. I've got... Uh, finishers make me invisible. Which is really going to help for getting... Getting finishers on these ads. So, from this back area... Actually, my grenade... <laughs> I didn't want that to happen because we just lost quite a few thousand, which is, which, as you'll as you'll as you'll uh, understand, getting getting a score almost two hundred sixty thousand, uh, you can be allowed to mess up one shot. Uh, it might not be the only one I mess up. So, the Colossus is 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 here. I'm gonna get him finishable. I'm gonna emote here. I'm gonna have to hit him again. Now I probably messed that up. Uh, no, I didn't, which is kind of strange for that first ad. I, I really wanted to see that again myself, That the ad in the previous area, the arc shielded uh, heavy duty elite incendiary. So it must have just not gave me it. So what we're going to do now, that's all the ads that we can clear. Now we're going to get the two tanks. So I've left this guy, I leave this guy till the end. I get up top here and the reason why I get up top here is because it will spawn a few more ads. Throw a grenade at the door he here. Now, get the emo on. I nearly got him. If I hadn't have fired the second... Uh, if I hadn't have fired my melee, I'd have got him. And then we've got the two tanks. Now I'm just going to kind of chill here. These are the extra ads. If you go up top here, you are going to get these ads. Right? So I'm just going to put something on him. And then I'm just going to leave him. I'll put my rift down. There's one tank down. The ads kind of... Once, once you... There will come a point... See, he's finishable now. There will come a point where another wave of ads will spawn out of the doorway that we're at. I think it's when the, the second... Uh, we might have actually had them. 
I'm just going to throw my grenade and my, no my Nova, get the Rift back down. We're cool here from Champions and all the rest of it. So we're just going to have a look. Yeah, I, th I, it might, we'll see now. Is it when the second tank goes down or have we had them? I think we've had them. There normally is another wave of ads there. There's the champion. Uh, there's more. There we go. There's another, another phalanx. And as you can see, uh, you probably, I probably could have got just a touch more. I'm just trying to leave it so it's just me and the champion. Got another wave of dogs. You get another wave during this section as well. Uh, I think there's still ads over that side. The dogs are kind of playing coy, so I'm going to use my melee. Get a little explosion on one of them. I can see the dogs on the other side. Just to the right of me. Oh, there's still a there's still sniper's up. And that's the dogs down. Now there's... The, when you take the tanks... Uh, when you take the tanks... Once you kill both tanks, all the rest of the ads will just come down here. The only thing that will push up are the dogs. So now we've just got the barrier left. Lemon Arc is a beautiful... Uh, weapon for taking barriers down and there you go as you can see i've got twelve thousand there for it and that's because i chained those three uh medals together the finisher the the insult to injury and then you get giant killer so that's it's a half decent score to come out of there with uh plenty of heavy all the rest of it so when we get down here you're gonna have uh an elite now, the elites that are in this strike are very similar if if you played through a season I think it was season of the chosen might have been where you had to kill the elites in here and there was a it was a triumph for getting all the elites uh, it's the same amount you've no champ you know you've still got your champions but uh so what we're gonna do now now what I do there, if you get the perfect shot with Lemon Arc, it lets off a Void Explosion. But if you hold it to get past the perfect shot, you'll just do a normal shot. Which is good, because sometimes, because we've got this acute Void burn, I'm just letting the Void uh, get to him. Now I'll emo, and then I'll use my finisher to drag me towards him. You can fire off your finisher... Uh, quite uh quite far away and, and it has like a like it'll drag you towards them and you will have noticed there that I finished them, he disappeared, and then the thing exploded. Guardian games has been really buggy for me. Uh I actually did I got to the point where I know I've got reasonably good internet, so I tested it just to make sure because it really was bad. I put a clip on Twitter of <laughs> Two Unstoppables doing their best to impersonate an overload. They were just teleporting all over the place. Uh, right, so, again, I've got the... the, the, the I had the, 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 the gold ability empowerment. But, like I said, sometimes, you know, things happen. I, I was trying to body shot them, but there must be an absolute metric ton of aim assist on this weapon because I was aiming at his chest and got a headshot. So, you just really have to be careful. You want to get him down as low as possible, but I would, honestly, when it comes to champions, if you've got a little bit of time, I probably would suggest just using Lemon Arc. So, the way this section in here works is you've got a couple of turrets, three turrets, but you'll also have an elite. When you kill the elite, that is when the next wave of ads will spawn behind you. Now, we've got the Elite Finishable already because I threw my grenade. So we'll go over, do a quick emo, and then smash. Night, night time. Now, another way to take these snipers, because sometimes you'll kill these snipers and you'll get no score for them at all. So I just shoot a couple of shots from the primary, and there we go, 5,000 points. We're already at 200,000, but... As I'm sure you'll appreciate, because you're, we're doing it solo, you know, to do it safely, I mean, you you could be that guy who takes tons of chances. I don't really like taking tons of chances. I like to know it's going to get done. So I'll just throw my grenade down there. I actually was going to try and get a, a finish on this, this, uh, phalanx, <laughs> but the grenade had other ideas, so 
as, as I expected to. Uh, there, there you can see. We've now I've got I had gold. I've got gold weapon empowerment times five. That that is the point where you will one hit champions. You will one hit champions. Uh, with that with, with with that gold empowerment. So we've slammed that. Well, that activates. Now you can go through a store. We're going to get a whole host of ads here. But what I'm going to do, which I think was the difference, it gave me quite a bit extra score, is I'm going to try and get most of the yellow bars down. We have got an unstoppable here. And then I'm just going to let them go. And we're just going to entice the, the, the unstoppable out. And uh, there we go. And he's just about finishable. And there we go. So that gave us 10,000. Now I'm invis. So I'm going to emote in front of this guy. And I can chain my, my invisibility. And then just look to see who I'm going to attack next. Nearly died there. I'm just going to throw my grenade, which will, my grenade and my melee, which will kill him. Uh, and because I get devour from it. So we've got another guy here that can be finished. So, Invis. And there's another guy that can be finished. You see the points I'm racking up just in here. Now, now it's not giving me so many. I'm wondering if you can't do that back to back so much now. Because it, it, I, I've done exactly the same there. We'll see here. So I've got him finishable. Get the emote. Nope. It gave me, it, it never gave me the emote, which is what it done outside. So maybe it didn't class those guys. I, I don't know. I think one of them gave me a big, big amount of score. So as you can see, I, I, I do think Guardian Games is a great thing, but I think it is a little bit buggy. I think stuff happens in here that I'm like, what's going on there? And as you've seen, I emoted, but and it, it was working, it worked with the Scions, so it should have worked with them anyway. 236,000. Uh, we are going to lose points in about three and a half minutes, but I'm trying to do this safely. So I am going to wait for all the solar bombs to go away and what have you. So when you start this, you are going to get your super, your abilities back. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm, I'm not going to bother because I already had them, so it's, it's not a big difference, a big, a big problem. I'm going to shoot these solar bombs from here. And then I'm going to wait for him to jump, and then Nova, and then I'm going to head to the right, just reload. Now he's set, sending out another load of solar bombs. Good chance they, they, you know, there is a chance they could catch me and hit me. But because I was getting the kills with the grenade, I'd activated Devour. So when you first come in, you'll have three of the ads left, three of the ads right. So we're just wanting to get the kills, and I'm moving through here. Be careful if... If if you're coming through here when the when the when the he's dropping his solar bombs because that whole area will light up and it's burning. So uh, maybe another one or two shots, and then this will put him into as I commonly refer this to in my nightfalls. This will put him into his cocoon phase where he now can't be can't deal any damage to him. So we're gonna get this unstoppable, and I want to keep him to be finished. So, and there's his mate. I didn't really want to throw a grenade because I want to finish him and the grenade would have killed him. So, I got my emote in there. And let's see. Giant Slayer, finishing touches, insult to injury. Yep, it seems like it might have been a little bit buggy. So, you see all those kind of solar bombs? The minute I go invisible, they can no longer chase me. And what I decided, there were solar bombs coming in. Threw my grenade to kill the phalanx and now I'm off. I'm not going to bother fighting when the solar bombs are coming. I probably would have got a higher score from doing it. I wouldn't have lost so much score, but it's not safe. You can die from those those uh, solar bombs. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to... Right, so in my head, <laughs> it played out differently in my head than the way it did in, 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 actually. I was like, let's fire a couple of those. There should only be like another five or six lots from the fire and then we can you know I can I can get I can get over and get shield broke and what have you. I actually think there was another ten of them 
which from my recollection of this strike is a lot I, I feel like there was a lot of these bombs coming at me a lot not in a wave just a lot of waves so yep I'm, I'm already starting to be like well, what the hell and then when as you can see he is firing at me does do void damage you have acute void burn which is you take 50% uh, more void damage but you do 25% more void damage I went with a full void build because of that because I feel like that is kind of the way the nightfalls are getting played into. If you want to do it efficiently, you have to you have to feel the burn, <laughs> basically. So he is. You've got to be careful when you're doing this. I always use this pillar, and because he can't actually see me, he'll only know where I am when I fire. So actually, as you can see, I jumped away there because three shots on that should be enough to break it. And now I'm just going to use this pillar again. There we go. Uh, I'm going to throw a grenade down there and just take out those ads, which gets me my devour. And I can keep it going by proccing Lemonox burn and clearing some of these other ads. I don't want to fire my Nova just yet because I, I want the full Nova to hit the boss. And there are a few ads up, so I don't want them stealing any damage. So now I will throw the Nova. I wasn't sure if there was another ad up. And I'll just get a grenade on him because it doesn't look like he's going to run any further. The grenade will just, even though he's up in the air, it'll still do damage. And then, now we just want to get him to go upstairs. He'll go above where we are now. Now, if you were doing this on GM, you wouldn't be here. You'd be, you know, you'd be getting ready to go down to the bottom at this point. I'm not, I'm, I think I'm going to stay up here uh, and try and take, there we go. And try and take the unstoppable and the the gladiator. So I'm just going to pre-fire my need at the door. The unstoppable the unstoppable is going to come out and immediately get uh, get stopped, but start to take the effects of uh, of the start to take the effects of the grenade straight away. So I'm, I am going to throw my grenade there because I was hoping that the gladiator would have would have come after me. He didn't. So emo finish. Go invisible. The minute I go invisible, uh, those solar bombs can no longer track me. You know. But I am going to wait for the solar bombs to go before I start trying to risk it. I want this gladiator down. I, I don't like him floating about. There is another brick of heavy. Should I need it on the floor? And yes. I am surprised myself. I forgot that they could come through here. If you do need to come in the middle, like I am now, come right into the center. Uh, because if you come into the center, uh, you won't get burnt by the floor. So he's still firing. So now I'm, I've decided I am going to try and get some shots on. If he comes over like that, get away before he... If he stomps you... It's a bad day, and I, and I think if he stomps you, I'll just try and shoot some of these bombs, uh, just just to make my life a little bit easier. I'll go back underneath now. Um, I think I need to get one more hit on this, and then it's broken. There we go. So I'll charge my grenade, and I'll throw it over to where the first wave of ads is going to come down, and then I immediately equipped my my bow so I could take out this next lot now Kaito is uh, Kaito's uh, champion is over there so now we're just going to look to get some shots on while staying safe remember 50% void burn uh, that stomp was very close to me that time 50% void burn so you do not want to take the chance uh, of, of the big cannon smashing you. I'm pretty sure that didn't sound the way I thought it was going to sound. And that's that's the run, guys. So I hope I hope this helps you. I hope you uh, you managed to get your high score. This that run will definitely be usable uh, when the competitive playlist comes out. And two five nine. I hope Bungie sticks to that. I, I hope it does work like that. I hope people don't find another way to break it because it was really annoying that people were just killing themselves to get high scores. 
Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I've got one more video coming up this week, and then I'll probably be taking a break next week before the start of the new season. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.